Hi, and welcome back to our channel Summaries of a Bookworm. Your number one place for all who need or like to listen to book summaries. Let's start with the book summary of today. Hidden Figures. The American Dream and the Untold Story of the Black Women Who Helped Win the Space Race by Margot Lee Shetterly is the true story of African-American women who worked at the Langley Memorial Research Center in Virginia in the early days of the aviation industry. The math skills of these women helped the industry grow and put the United States on the path to the space race. These women worked behind the scenes in the all-black West Computing Unit. Their work went unnoticed for decades, even though they planned some of the most important operations in the history of American spaceflight. The story starts during World War II, when black women were hired to do math by hand at Langley to make up for a lack of workers. Before computers, these women, who were called human computers, did calculations that are hard to imagine. With World War II coming up, America needed skilled mathematicians to win the space race and win the Cold War against the Soviet Union. Shetterly mostly looks at the work of Dorothy Vaughn, Katherine Johnson, and Mary Jackson. She writes about their lives and jobs in the segregated South, and she talks about the racism they had to deal with every day. All of these women uprooted their lives to work at Langley, and they all did important things for the history of the United States. Almost all of the people who worked as computers for the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics were women. In 1942, Dorothy Vaughn was hired as a mathematician. Before that, she had been a math teacher. She has to move away from her family because of the job, but she thinks it will only be for a short time. Dorothy and the other black computers are put in a separate wing and don't eat lunch with their white classmates. Dorothy keeps her job even though the war is over. By 1951, she is even made the acting head of the unit. Most people think of her as one of NASA's early leaders. Dorothy's new teammate is Mary Jackson. With the Cold War heating up in the U.S. claiming that the fight against communism is about equal rights for everyone, Hidden Figures openly questions how racial oppression can be allowed and even encouraged in the U.S. Even though the NACA did stress racial segregation and prejudice, it was a more flexible place to work than the rest of the world. As the women in the story get better at what they do, they often get chances to move up. Some become engineers, and others just get more attention than they did before. Katherine Johnson starts working in the Flight Research Division in 1953. Before that, she was getting her master's degree in math. She faces both discrimination and praise. At first, people ignore her, but later they value her as a team member and as an individual. However, she has trouble getting the pay she deserves. Katherine starts doing research, which shows that turbulence on one plane can affect other planes nearby. She gets so much praise for this that she starts using the bathroom for whites only. During the launch of Friendship 7, it was Catherine's job to check the calculations along with the digital computers, which often made mistakes or stopped working. John Glenn was the first American to orbit the Earth. When Catherine checked the calculations, he agreed to start the mission, saying, if she says they're good, I'm ready to go. The three women live in a world that is constantly changing. As they move through the NACA, they see huge changes in society and technology. Major steps forward in civil rights are made, which challenges the status quo of their workplace in Virginia, which was influenced by Jim Crow. When the research center gets its first computer, many people wonder if they will still have jobs that require them to do math by hand. The space race was still going on, and Mary, Dorothy, and Catherine saw Sputnik being made. Apollo 11 goes into space successfully in the 1960s, and people like Catherine helped make that happen. In spite of these big changes in what was thought to be possible, the women in Hidden Figures did a lot of amazing things. Thank you for listening to our book summary. I hope we sparked your interest in the book. Please let us know in the comments below and give this video a thumbs up. Do you want to listen to more book summaries? Subscribe to us and you will get a notification every time we publish a new summary. Bye bye and see you next time.